Hi, I'm Donna Dewberry, and I'm here at Plaid Enterprises, and I'm so thrilled to be sharing with you the new Folk Art Home Decor Chalk. And we have beautiful waxes to go with it. We have tools that you're gonna love to use, and the best part of it is that you can go through your house and redo all kinds of wonderful things in your home from accessories to decorate with, from your kitchen cabinets to your bathroom cabinets, and any kind of craft project you wanna do, whether it's finished or unfinished, you're gonna love that we have all these beautiful colors, three different colors of wax to work with, and lots more, so let's get started. Now we're going to work on an unfinished frame and I want you to see we're going to go from this to this. Now how great is that? Now to do this, it's really easy. We're going to work on distressing and there's two different distressings. We're going to do a dry distress and a wet distress. And to get started, I'm going to use Cascade, which is one of my favorite colors. And we're going to go in here and stir. We don't want you to shake the paint. Okay, we're gonna stir it and mix up, especially if there's anything on the top there. All right, wipe it off and we're ready to go. Now, we're gonna take and pour this onto our plate. All right, now you'd be surprised how much this covers. That's what I love, is the coverage of the paint. And it, you'd be surprised also that it will go over dark finishes on furniture or it will go over this raw wood really nice and many times I can coat it in one coat and it's and it's all ready for us, especially when it's a base coat because we're gonna see how I'm gonna get in here. We're going to take and put a top coat on this so that this color distresses through when we sand it. And you know what? This is gonna dry to an ultra matte finish and you're gonna love it. Okay, now I want you to look at this finished piece of, and the prettiness of the color coming through. So the color I chose to use on top is a sheepskin. And then you see when we finish it, we have the beautiful cascade coming through. So always pick two colors that you like to use that way. The chalk is gonna dry pretty quick, but the thing is we need to wait two hours to make sure it's cured so that before we put the second coat on, okay? Okay, so I'm putting a good amount of paint, so I'm ready to put my top coat. And as I'm doing this top coat, there's a couple of things you can think about, is what kind of finish you want. Now you can do a very nice, smooth stroke. All right, depends on what kind of finish you want. Make sure that you have it over here on the edges where there's grooves and that you want to fill in. Or you can do a heavier, chunkier, it's gonna give you a chunkier finish when you put more paint on here. Okay, so after I put the coats that I want on here, we're gonna let it dry for two hours again, and we'll be ready for our next step. Now I've let this dry for two hours, and I'm ready to do my dry distressing. Now what I'm, go what I'm gonna do is decide how much I want to show. So I'm gonna get started on the edge with my sanding block. And what you're gonna like about this is that as it sands, it's gonna come off like with powder, like a chalk, which is really nice. I'm gonna decide to start sanding the edge till I see the color that I wanna see through there. Okay, what I wanna show you now is if you put this up to the frame that we've already finished, I want you to see it's your your personal preference about how much, how you see this is quite a bit more distressed than this one is. But I like showing the wood grain and other aspects of the wood, so you enjoy and do what makes you happy. Okay, now I'm gonna show you the wet distress technique, and I'm gonna use a sponge, it's a nice handy sponge, one of our tools. We're gonna to go into the water, squeeze it out, so it's still damp, all right? And then we're gonna go onto our piece that's almost dry, but not quite dry. And you're gonna start rubbing away our finish on here. And this finish is not quite dry. You wanna get it right before it's totally dry. See how nice that comes out? And you can be vigorous on this. You can decide how much you want. 
if you want more distressed or less. Now it depends on how thick you did in some areas and thinner areas will show more. So you think about that too when you're putting your top coat on because you can control a little bit of that as you go. Now I've shared with you two techniques of distressing. One's with the sand, sandy block, and the second one was with the wet sponge. So that's the wet distressing. I love them both, but my favorite's the wet distressing because it's less physical work on me, I think, sometimes. And what I want you to look at is when we look at this um, beautiful finished frame, there's a finish on this. And this finish is our clear wax. And the clear wax, I told you there's three different waxes. Well, the clear wax on this, I just wanted a nice, beautiful sheen. So you're gonna put the wax on with this great waxing brush and let it dry and then you're gonna buff it. But to learn more tips and techniques on how to wax, refer to our home decor folk art wax how-to video. And if you wanna know more about product information and project inspiration, go to platonline.com. Now go out and have fun.